I found Dr. Joe and your amazingly blessed work in August on a Lewis Howes podcast this year. And I had come <laughs> to the end of my belief a week before when the doctor that I was seeing for the cancer that I thought I had dealt with, and I thought I had milked everything out of it for the last seven years, I had a diagnosis and they said, oh, this looks like it's back, Burns. And I totally lost my shit. For the second time since 2011, it was the second time I completely lost it because I was so surgery fatigued and I thought I got everything that I needed to get out of it. And I sat in that doctor's office and I was, I was brought to my knees. But about an hour after I left the doctor's office, I said to myself in the car, you know, this is happening for a reason. It sucks like the worst pain ever because I didn't want to really deal with it again. But I realized at that time, there's a reason why this is happening. And as much as I don't know what the reason is, I know that everything is always working out for me. And I know that the reason that I'm going through this now is because there's something more that I need to learn from this experience. Because I know everything is always happening for me and not to me. That's one of the beautiful blessings that this walk with cancer has given me since, 19, um, since 2011. Fast forward a week later, I am dropping my boyfriend off at work and I plug in my podcast as I usually do, drop him off at work, go to the gym, stick in my podcast, get my workout done at six in the morning. And Lewis Howes, one of my favorite influencers and podcasters, heart of gold, this man, I look through my usual roster of podcasts to see what's gonna inspire me to hit play. And it's this mind matter, Joe, somebody, I'm like, okay, let's check this shit out. <laughs> and I put it on. And within the first, the, the, really, the first sentence, I could feel the vibration coming through. And I think it took me like two and a half hours to do my hour workout because I kept hitting pause, rewind, what, ah, what, oh. My mind was blown. My mind was blown. And I just dove right in. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. This is it. This is why I needed to go through all of this again. So I, I got into the work. I went home, I went on YouTube, I found some stuff, I put it on, and I did the meditation, one of the meditations, not yours, because that really was a little bit weird. <laughs> I was like, I put it on, I'm like, yeah, that's weird. But you know what I said to myself at the time? <laughs> that was weird. I, you know what I said? Here's what I said. I said, Burns, that's your ego. That is your ego. That is your ego that is cutting up the sound of the voice or the voice quality or the space between your... Put your ego away and put the podcast or the YouTube, the meditation on. And that's what I did. And I got addicted to these... I did the first meditation and I came out out of that and I was like, oh my God, <gasps> I feel so good that a couple hours later I was kind of jonesing for another one. So I put another one on and another one. And before the end of that day, I was hooked. I started devouring everything that I could about Dr. Joe and about testimonials and about everything. 
And then I went on your website, uh, I went on Dr. Joe's website, and I see a Toronto workshop. I was like, oh, what's that all about? And I wasn't ready, of course. There was actually spaces left, but then I was like, I don't know, it wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't my time to do it. But the live stream was coming on. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be doing that. <laughs> so I downloaded the, the hour and a half one, but then when, he, when you did the workshop on the breath, and then the next day, the four hour, the actual workshop, I was blown away. And I said to my boyfriend, if I feel this good after the first one, I wonder how much our lives and how much my life would be impacted if I did this for the 30 days, every single morning. And so that's, what I, that's why I did it. I did not start this work and doing the, the 30 days of every single morning to make my cancer go away, or the cancer go away, excuse me. I did it because I felt so good after the first one. As it turns out, I had a MRI on October the 6th, exactly 30 days after I started this work, and my MRI results show that there is absolutely no cancer anywhere in my body. And I could not, thank you, I could not be more happy that it came back in the way that it did, in the timeline that it did. And I really want to encourage you guys for, because I know sometimes it feels like, well, wow, that's a lot of work, and oh my God, I don't know if I have that time, and you don't have the time not to do it, like seriously. The, this has transformed my life. And yeah, you're so right, sure. The cancer is gone, but how I feel, it doesn't even matter anymore. When you get up out of your meditation and when you start your day, when you make a real commitment, when I make a real commitment to myself to start my day that way, it really doesn't matter whether the cancer is there or not because that day is frigging perfect. It is perfect. It is perfect. So. Thank you so much. What um, did the doctors tell you <laughs> after you got your diagnosis? When Which, you got your, when you got when they told you your cancer came back, wasn't it wasn't it a kind of a rare cancer? My can the cancer that I that I my body was uh, was diagnosed with is called gastrointestinal stromal tumor. It's one of the rarest forms of cancer of the entire U.S. population. About four five thousand are diagnosed per year. And of that type, I have the rarest of the three types. It's wild type. Of course, I would get the wild gist, right? <laughs> so it's, it's fitting, right? But, but um, you know the... I couldn't resist. You understand that you, when she reaches a point where all of her worry goes away, all of her fear disappears, that she feels just incredibly at peace and poised and relaxed and whole, mm -hmm. that it's very difficult for a cancer to exist in the body that's at odds with itself. Do you understand? that there's an incredible antagonism that goes on with cancer where people are having, they're, they're fighting against themselves. Mm. And she took it on in a very simplistic way, once again, said, okay, if this works, then I'm gonna have to immerse myself in it. I'm gonna have to study. I'm gonna have to understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I have to get beyond myself and go all in. And all she did was follow the formula, yes or no? followed the formula, and she's another example of truth. 